welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a potluck recipe that you can take that is so easy and simple. It's called the muffaletta sandwich. Let's get started. So to make this muffaletta sandwich, you're going to need a round loaf of bread. Now I have a really small one here because it's just me and my husband and I don't want a giant sandwich. But if you're going to be making this for a party, um, get a bigger one and it's going to feed quite a few people. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut almost half, a little bit close to the top though, but we don't want to cut the sandwich in half. So we're just going to take the lid off. See, there's more than half left. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically hollow out the inside of this round bread. You can use this for other recipes or feed it to the birds. So let's take most of this out, we, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this with sandwich meat, deli meat. Now this is perfect for just the two of us. We'll have about four servings out of this. Now make sure you leave some of the bread in the bottom and on the sides. It is a sandwich after all. We're not making a bread bowl. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit out of the top too, but not as much. Just a little bit. The sandwich has a lot of ingredients, but most of them are something that you're gonna have on hand at home anyway. All right, we're done with that. Let's move that over to the side. And I just took out a little bit of the top. Now we're gonna set our top aside. Inside this bowl, we're gonna fill this with meat and cheese and an olive tapenade. So let's make our olive tapenade. Let's get a small bowl here. I have some olive oil. I'm going to put in about three tablespoons. I have some red wine vinegar. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon. A little bit of garlic powder, just a few shakes. A little bit of salt some oregano, a couple shakes of that. That's not even an eighth of a teaspoon, okay? Some pepper. I'm gonna stir this around. This is like a dressing. We're not using mustard or mayonnaise or anything like that. You can if you want to. But just remember, this is gonna go in the refrigerator. If you're making it for a party, you can wrap it up real good and put it in the refrigerator overnight. Or like today, I'm making it for our lunch. I'm gonna keep it in the fridge for just a couple of hours. Now we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna take some of these red peppers. They're roasted. I don't want too many. Okay. Let's dry them off because you don't want anything soggy in your sandwich. I don't need a lot of them. If you don't like it, leave it out or use fresh ones if you want. All right. I'm gonna add this to my olive oil. 
we're going to mix that up. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to add these Kalamata olives to the olive oil mixture. And I'm going to add some green olives as well. All right, now that we have our green olives, let's just chop these up. Doesn't have to be too fine. Now the reason why I didn't chop up the kalamata is because they're already sliced. Let's add that to our olive oil mixture. And let's give it a stir. Okay, let's set that aside. Clean my board. Now we're going to take our bread, take the lid off. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our cheese. And I have a mixture here of provolone and Swiss. So I'm just going to put those in the sandwich. Let me take one out and put a slice of Swiss cheese in there. Now, we're going to add some spinach. Now, if you don't like spinach, you can always use arugula, but do not use lettuce. Because lettuce has a tendency to get watery, and we don't want anything that would make our sandwich mushy. Your guests are not going to want to eat something that's soggy. Now, I'm just taking some of the longer stems off of the spinach. I really don't like that. Let's put that down in there. Now I have washed and dried all my spinach. Make sure that it's thoroughly dry. Now we're going to add our meat. And the first one we're going to add is hard salami. Now we're going to take our olive oil mixture and put that on top of the salami. Now we're going to add some kato salami. And if you use this in a package, uh, be aware there's a rind on the end of it, so you want, might want to take that rind off. Okay, let's press it in the sandwich. Now I'm going to add another piece of Swiss cheese. Press it in. Now I have some ham. And what I like to do, because I got this at the deli, for some reason, you know, deli meat has a a way of being a little bit moist or wet. So I'm going to dry it. So make sure that our sandwich is not going to be soggy. Looks like you can't get a whole lot in there, but you can. Just keep pressing it in. All right. Now I'm going to add some more of our tapenade. Now I would use garlic powder in this, not fresh garlic, because nobody really wants to bite into a piece of garlic. 
but to have that flavor in the sandwich is good. Now you see I'm draining it as I put that on the sandwich. This is basically for flavor, okay? Now I'm gonna add the last two pieces of cheese and another piece of the cotto salami and two more slices of hard salami. All right, now I'm gonna put the lid back on. Let's see, let's find out where I cut it. Right about there, okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put this in plastic wrap, wrap it really well, and we're gonna put something heavy on the top because we want it to smash down. So an iron skillet or Anything that you have that's heavy, once you get this wrapped with your plastic wrap, put it on a dish and then put something heavy on top of this to smash it down. And in a couple hours, you'll be able to cut this into like a pizza wedges and everybody will get a nice sandwich. So let's put some plastic wrap on this. Now you have to cover it a few times with plastic wrap. It's not going to leak out or anything. But you want to make sure that it's tight. Now we're going to put something very heavy. I'm going to put a um, cast iron skillet on top of mine and I'm going to leave mine in the refrigerator for about three hours and then we can cut it and I'll show you what it looks like. I just got my muffaletta sandwich out of the refrigerator. It's been in there for about two and a half hours. I had a cast iron pan on top and that smushed down the top of it. Let me show you what it looks like. Let's take the plastic wrap off. Now, if you were taking this to a party or a potluck, just leave it in the plastic wrap until it's time for your party. And then take the plastic wrap off and cut it into wedges. Now you can see it's smashed down quite a bit. Now we're gonna take a serrated knife and cut down the middle. Go slow. We want to make sure that we get it all cut. And now I'm going to cut it once more. Now if you had a bigger loaf, you would cut it in several wedges. Let's take a look at our sandwich. Oh, I gotta cut this a little bit more. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Now that is a nice sandwich to serve for a party or a potluck. And it tastes great too. Now remember, you know, it does have a lid on it, so if you wanted to have a little dish of mustard, perhaps, if someone would like to put that on there, but you really don't need anything because that olive tapenade really does give it a great taste. So let me show you how I'm going to serve it. Now I'm going to serve this with some vegetables on the side. So let's slice up this cucumber. Now 
We'll just use some cucumber slices. I have a couple of onions here. We're just going to leave those the way that they are. I chopped up some celery and some bell peppers. So we have those. Let's arrange this now. Here is our muffaletta sandwich. Now I'm serving it with some spicy hummus and some cucumber, sliced peppers, a couple scallions, and this is pretty much all you really need. 